I have spent the last decade of my life immersing myself in the real estate industry as a real estate broker and now as a real estate consultant. And one question I often get asked by other agents is what are the taxes and fees applicable for real estate agents? If you are a new agent who wants to know what the applicable taxes and fees are, then check this video out and hit subscribe to be updated on my latest content. Quick disclaimer, I am by no means an accountant. I actually had this content reviewed by an accountant friend of mine, but if I missed out on something, then please feel free to post in the comment section so we can all learn from each other. Paying taxes as a real estate agent or broker can feel complicated when you are starting out. Even if you are part of a brokerage, you are not considered an employee, but an independent practitioner. So you're classified as self-employed. That means it is your responsibility to file your own taxes. There are four types of real estate service practitioners. We have real estate brokers, salespersons, consultants, and appraisers. All such practitioners are subject to 5% expanded withholding tax if your gross income for the year is below 3 million. But you will need to provide a notarized sworn statement which you need to submit to the developer at the beginning of the year. If you want a copy of the template of the sworn statement, then email me so our team can send you one. Now, if your gross income for the year is above 3 million, then that means you are vatable. Meaning you will need to pay 10% expanding withholding tax plus 12% VAT. Think of EWT as paying for your income tax in advance. Whenever the developer releases a commission, let's say 100,000 pesos commission, less 5% EWT, you will get 95,000. The 5,000 that was withheld will count as your payment for your income tax for that year. So for proof that this amount was in fact withheld from you, you will need to request for a form called a 2307 form from the developer. This is so that when you file for your income tax every quarter, all the EWT or expanded withholding tax can be deducted from your tax payable. Now for corporations or non-individual payees, the tax for non-VAT is 10% while VATable entities are at 15%. It is important to remember that if your gross collected commission or income for the year exceeds 3 million, then you will now be VATable. So you will need to change your registration from non-VAT to VAT Otherwise, you will be penalized and will also need to pay back taxes. Once you become VATable, you will pay the 10% income tax plus 12% VAT. The challenge with being VATable is because real estate agents have very little VAT deductible expense. So by being VATable, we shoulder a huge chunk of the tax. How much is my income tax as a professional? One thing to note that even if the developer has withheld tax from your commission, as a real estate professional, you still need to file your own taxes and claim the amount being withheld as creditable taxes. So your income tax will depend on how much you earned for that quarter. BIR has a tax bracket that you can refer to. So now let's check out the income tax bracket. So if your income is from zero to 250,000 per year, then you will not need to pay any tax at all. But if it's from 250,000 to 400,000 per year, you will need to pay 15% based on your taxable income, taxable net income. It's it, if it's from 400,000 to 800,000, your fixed tax is at 22,500. And there's also an additional 20% rate on the excess. If your income is from 800,000 to 2, 2 million, Fixed tax is at 102,500 plus 25% rate on excess. And if it's from 2 million to 8 million, it's at 402,500 plus 30% rate on excess. And if it's 8 million and above, like you really close a lot of deals and you earn 8 million and above in commission, then you would need to pay 2.2 million plus 35% rate on excess. Now let's go to the fees payable as a new agent. So what are the fees you need to pay for every year? So first is we have PTR, which is about 300 pesos every year. PTR stands for professional tax receipt and it's proof of your annual payment of professional tax. Section 139 of the local government code 1 mandates all provincial governments to charge annual professional tax to individuals engaged in professional practice that requires government's examination. 
A PTR is proof that you paid your taxes to the government. As a practitioner of a profession, you must pay your taxes. So once you've done so, you can go to the local government and get your PTR. So do not be confused between the PTR and the actual tax. The professional tax receipt differs from the tax that you pay quarterly or annually. So there is tax that you must pay if you earn money, this tax is the regular tax that you pay to BAR. All qualified earners must pay taxes, professionals, business people, and employees. The professional tax receipt or PTR is different. It is a special kind of tax levied only on people who have a profession. These are people who have special skills that the government regulates and being a real estate broker is under that regulation. Now let's go to the DSHUD or Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development. So payable is about 950 pesos per year. So this is the central, DSHUD is the central housing authority in the Philippines. This is why real estate brokers and agents need to be registered at DSHUD before they can practice. And then one requirement of DSHUD is the bond. So there's a bond that you have to pay for. It's about 5,000 pesos for a lifetime bond. But if you pay like annually, then it will be lower. Now for salespersons, you must also renew your accreditation at PRC every year, while brokers need to do it every three years. As real estate professionals, it is important that we file our taxes on time and avoid penalties and open cases by doing so. So for me, I have an accountant who files my taxes for me and a finance staff who monitors and checks the payments and filings to make sure that it's paid on schedule. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video interesting, all I ask for is a subscribe and I will see you in my next video.